Hey there, everyone. This is Mystic Fish. Welcome to episode two of our playthrough of Factorio, where we are trying to get the achievements of getting on track like a pro, Lazy Bastard, and There Is No Spoon all in the same playthrough, or as I'm calling it, the Lazy Pro Spoon playthrough. Okay, last episode, we got basic automation up and running. We're about half an hour into the game. So we have one hour remaining for getting on track like a pro. So this episode, I think we're going to need to be focusing on getting green science going because uh, we're going to need to get the red and green science going to get the research necessary to build a train. So we're basically going to rush straight to trains here in this episode. So let's get started. Okay, when we left off, we were just going to start getting our first electric miners set up for iron. So let's see. Okay, we have 12 total miners. That's enough. Uh, but let's get some underground set up so that uh, we can get nice and compact with our mining here. So uh, we're just going to do eight miners to start on iron. So four undergrounds will do. Let's fix our hotkeys here so that we can get into belts and stuff since uh, I think we're pretty close to being done with hand feeding coal. Now let's start by laying out our smelting area. So uh, let's plan this with ghosts ahead of time. That'll help us figure out where this needs to go uh, and we can do that quickly. So that's gonna represent sort of the width of a smelting column. And we're gonna do four here. Now I'm basing this a little bit off of Michael Hendricks' guide to getting there is no spoon on default settings, but there's gonna be a few tweaks to it, obviously, because we're doing lazy bastard, etc. All right, let's slide this down so we have enough room here. Um, the last one's gonna be steel, so we need one extra space for extra power poles up here. Okay, so that's where this is gonna be. Let's lay out, let's see how wide this is gonna be. So, um, okay, we want 24 of these furnaces. So let's, let's see, let's count. How many do we get here? Oh, that's 26, that's too many. Okay, let's get rid of these last two and count. Okay, that's 24. So we can paste out where this is gonna sit for everything else. So we're gonna do two lanes of iron, one of copper, and one of steel. So this is what we're going to have here. Okay, so we've got mine drills. Let's get the first iron set up. We're just gonna do, I think, enough electric miners to keep 12 stone furnaces going. So that's really uh, eight miners is enough. So that's like half of a half of a yellow belt. So, or sorry, quarter of a yellow belt. Um, Okay, so let's move these power poles out of the way because there's a, there's a fast way I like to lay out these lines of miners here. So if we put the power poles in first, then we can drag the belt and it puts the undergrounds in the right places around the power poles. So that will be good. Okay, let's get our first 12 stone furnaces in. Okay, so we're gonna just run directly in here and just get our iron production amped up a little bit. Uh, okay, uh, we don't have enough inserters, uh, but we'll bring the ore in over here. So it ends up on half the belt, which is where we're eventually gonna want it. So let's get the missing inserters. Ugh, we're short on green circuits. Okay, we did have some over here. Uh, we're gonna need 12 here uh, just to fill the stone furnaces with smelting. So, okay, we'll grab those. Let's get those inserters put in place here. And we're just gonna, I think, hand feed cold to these uh, at the beginning, rather than figure out how to automate the coal line in. Uh, we'll come back around to that soon enough, but we have coal sitting over here in these burner miners. Okay, uh, we are going to need steel to do the train stuff, so let's get going on steel. Uh, oh, our stone furnace has been disconnected from power, so we'll have to fix that in a minute. But we definitely need to keep this copper going. We don't have a replacement for smelting copper yet. And we don't have enough iron going yet, so we want to keep going with the burner miners for iron just for a little bit longer. 
But very soon we'll be transitioning off of this onto the electric miners. And that'll be good because the electric miners are faster. Uh, they are a little more space efficient. They're obviously more power efficient. And uh, yeah, generally all good. And you know, they're more pollution efficient too. So, um, you know, if we can keep the pollution down, we'll have an easier time with the biters. Okay, so that brings ore in. Now we just need power over here. We'll stick half stack of coal in each furnace. And wait, let's line this up the way I like to do it. Okay, good. And that'll power the inserters. And we just need to connect this up to the power up here. Now let's reconnect our stone furnace production. Okay, that is smelting iron. Good stuff. Okay, we are almost out of stuff up here in the labs. So I think that's transitioned to doing four labs. Um, let's see, we're gonna need more gears just to queue that up for the red science. So let's get the gears going. There we go. I've uh, got plenty of belts. We're gonna need more green circuits because we're gonna need more assembly machines uh, for the next set of expansion. Yeah, see we're out of circuits. So let's grab some more. Uh, Got some more miners. I, maybe we'll maybe we'll go actually automate power soon. Um, okay, let's make labs. We want two labs, so that's four, eight belts, four belts per lab. Uh, okay, this will help us scale up our red science production a little bit. Okay, um, all right, let's rearrange this stuff. We'll reuse these two assembly machines for the gears and that we're producing the gears below and we'll just get two more red science inserters like that, or assemblers rather. Okay, uh, there's our gears. Uh, let's get some more iron because we wanna keep the gear production going. We'll grab iron out of here. Nice. There we go, that's lots of iron, okay. More gears, thank you. All right, and let's see, let's grab our labs. Let's get those set up over here with inserters and we need power for the inserters. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get stuff put in here. So uh, let's put 50 copper and 50 gears in each one um, okay, how we're gonna divide up these gears? Uh, might be easier if we got a box. So let's let's make sure we get some boxes here. All right, there's one. Okay, oh, I already had some, but all right, here we go. Um, let's just take the gears we want for the science, and then we can put half a stack and half a stack and half a stack, and then we can whoop and we can put the rest. Okay, so that's 50-50. So that'll be, that's 200 red science total. Okay, so that'll be good. All right, we've got more mining drills. We've got more boxes, that's good. Let's get some more belts. I think we wanna automate some more. We wanna automate coal to the power next. So um, let's just make sure we're producing everything that we can here. All right, more copper wire. Um, looks like we need, speaking of copper, we need to put some more coal in over he here. Okay, steel finished. All right, we need to get to the green science, right? Because that's how we get to the uh, research for trains. Okay, more coal. Top off. Hopefully this is one of the last-ish reloads of coal into the copper and iron, but uh, we're not done yet, so let's just keep going. Our electric production is not sort of amped up enough yet that we're totally sort of independent of the burner miners here. So let's grab out the iron. And then let's see. Okay, uh, we've got enough belts to run power up to, or sorry, coal up to the power, so that's good. Um, what else are we gonna do here? Um, okay, let's actually, while we're here, let's, we're gonna need eventually for faster smelting, we are gonna need 
a lot of stone bricks to make steel furnaces. So uh, those can be kind of slow, but we can kind of just get a little slow burn going over here uh, with uh, this little setup here. So we'll mine directly into the furnaces and then we'll put the finished bricks into boxes like this. And power, and then we'll just stick a stack of coal in each furnace. Okay, all right, so that'll make Stone bricks in the background, that's good stuff. All right, where are we? Um, we have more furnaces. Okay, uh, right, because we're gonna need to make boilers, but to do that, we're going to need to make pipes. Okay, let's get a couple things of pipes going. All right, that's good. Uh, let's get some more gears, we'll need those for the steam engines. Uh, let's see, uh, I guess we we'll need burner inserters. Uh, we'll just use 25 gears plus, I wanna make 25 burner inserters, but uh, we only need 20, but that's faster than counting it all out. Um, okay, let's make the boilers. Okay, we've already got two. We want 14, so we need 12 total. So let's grab some pipes. Okay, so we'll get exactly 12. We're gonna stay here so we don't accidentally make extra boilers again. That was annoying, but uh, okay. 11, 12. Uh, steam engines, need 14. That will stop at 10 once we get a full stack, so uh, we can leave that unattended. Uh, and let's see, uh, and we'll make some radars. So we'll, we'll put some, once we expand the power, we'll be able to stand up some radars in order to scan the area around us, see if we can see where biters are. Uh, we'll do eight, we'll do four up by the power and four down here by the mining. As being the most likely places to be attacked by biters. Okay, let's see, more pipes. Okay, that is the 10th one, clear out the stack and then four more, three, four. Okay, good. All right, that's the burner inserters. Um, okay, we, what else do we need? Okay. We have lots of copper, so let's just make more copper wire. Okay. Let's make more green circuits. Uh, we're a little short on iron for those, but uh, that's okay. Uh, power poles, always more power poles. All right, that's the green science. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with the red science. So we'll just get a couple of these. We're, we're still collecting the stuff to kick off the green science. Uh, we still need some coal over here for the copper. So we'll get that all topped up. Uh, same thing here so that we can leave and go bring the coal up to the power and have useful stuff be happening while we're gone. As per our overall strategy here, Okay, that looks good. All right, and now let's lay out the electric miners. Uh, we're gonna start with 10. Okay, so that's five here, five here. Uh, let's see, we need power. So we'll put them in the middle and then we'll run our stuff down. Okay, oh, we're, we don't have undergrounds. Okay, let's get the undergrounds first. Okay, uh, undergrounds. Oh, we need more iron. Okay, let's grab the iron out of these guys here. Okay, get those going. And let's see, six will be enough for the amount we have right now. We'll, we'll keep making those. Okay, and let's see, where do we want this to come through. How about here? We'll bring the coal through down here. That way we can tap into it for the smelting uh, at some point. All right, we gotta get these undergrounds in here, hop over the power poles, where are the extra belts? Okay, and then we're gonna need to connect this power. Uh, I guess, oh, let's see. Uh, military, seems good, just in case. The biters come along. We haven't seen any indications that they're coming yet, but uh, let's connect this up here. Okay, good. We're generating coal. 
And then let's run this across. Okay, if we can run on the belts, that'll be a little faster. Okay, down past the smelting array. Oh, we gotta unload these so that they're unblocked and we keep smelting stuff. So that's good. All right, down over the end. Let's see, let's leave some room here for, we'll just mark some room off the end and then we'll be able to take it from there. Okay, the military finished. And let's see, I guess we'll do steel axe. That's useful for picking stuff up. All right, uh, let's bend our way over here so we can get up to the power. And oh, we are out of coal up here. Okay, we are arriving just in time. Okay, let's come this way. Oh, we're out of belts. Dang it. All right, I guess we'll go back. There's all of our stuff plinking red. That's no good. Uh, oh, we do have a little coal, so I guess we'll, we'll just get things going in case we need to make belts back at the back at the base. Uh, ugh. We didn't quite get up here in time, right? Our coal buffer on those boilers ran out before we could get all the way up here. But pretty close. We were pretty close. Almost exactly right, but uh, just ran out of power beforehand. Okay, here's a few belts. Uh, this sh is hopefully enough to finish carrying the coal belt across. So let's see. Let's finish going across here. Okay. Then we need the boilers. Exactly 14, thank you. All right, then we'll bring the steam engines across. Okay, and then we will get the power poles if we get close enough. Okay, I'll drag these across. Okay, that's power poles. And then finally we get the burner inserters. Okay. Just line these up here and hopefully if we get, okay, I see some coal coming along the belt down in the corner there. So hopefully that means that we got ourselves across what we need to. All right, that's a good chunk of coal. So that should hopefully get us going again. All right, uh, let's put the radar, but we should probably wait until we've got sort of enough power going. I guess that looks okay. Put four over here, and then we'll put four back down by the ore patch. And let's see, okay, good. There is the second batch of coal coming through. So I think we're in good shape then. All right, what is left to do here? Okay, we are missing coal in various spots for smelting and so on. Let's, uh, let's see, let's just, let's just reset all of these guys and figure out what we're doing. Uh, let's make some more assembly machines. Since we just amped up the power, we can support more assembly machines as well. So that seems like a good idea. And let's see, if we get 12, then we could put eight over here to expand our sort of personal crafting area. And then we can use the other four for the green science up top. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll overwrite that just for the moment. Okay, we'll put the assembly machines for the green science. Make those green science. Get the inserters. Okay, good. All right, now we need to start assembling the ingredients that we're gonna use for the green science text that we're going to need. Uh, to get to rails. Uh, let's get some more miners. Uh, I wanna get some more iron mining going. And uh, I think if we do that, at this point, we can be done with the burner phase for iron. I'll just pick these up to get them out of the way so we're not tempted to continue kind of with the dirty pollution for production. We still don't have a solution for copper yet. 
but uh, we can probably pick up the burner manufacturing of coal as long as we get a little box going here off of the electric miners. So we can use that for our own purposes just to have a little buffer for ourselves. We'll pick these all up, get them out of the way. And let's see. Okay, we have some coal here. Let's get the copper back operational again. Grab the copper. Let's come grab the iron out of these. So that's good. Wow, we're full of stuff. Okay. All right, we are definitely going to need gears, both because that's an ingredient for red science and ugh. All right, let's uh, just clean up some space in our inventory here. Pick up the stuff on the ground. And you know what, let's just get more gears because we also need them for belts and inserters. So we pretty much just need all gears all the time here. All right, that looks good. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm gonna borrow this assembly machine because we're all the other ones are busy making gears. Uh, and we are going to need a splitter so that we can expand the iron smelting. Okay, so that's fine. We're also gonna need some belts. And then, let's see. Let's uh, stage up our ingredients for the science here. So that's the, we're gonna need 400 total red and green science to do engines and logistics two and railway, which are the techs we need for getting a train. So let's just start collecting everything we need for 400 science there. So that's 400 copper for red science. All right, that is the other eight that gives us 16 so that'll be good for half a yellow belt of iron so that means we can support 12 more stone furnaces let's get our oh didn't quite have enough okay i guess we got to go get our belts from upstairs but uh, let's see these gears are done so that's good and let's see now we can make the belts that we'll use for the green science so we'll get those going if we get two assembly machines doing that, that will make 400 belts, so that's good. Uh, we'll need more gears because we got inserters yet to come. Uh, we'll need more screen circuits for the inserters, so let's get those going. What else could we be fruitfully doing? Uh, we have some more copper, so we can generate those, especially since we already put the copper set aside for the red science up there. Let's go get our belts, and then we can finish plugging in. All right, uh, at this point, we should probably switch to engines. We shouldn't use any more red science on the engines. Okay, well, let's finish building this other half thing of iron down here. Okay, half stack of coal for all of you. And then we'll stick our splitter here. Now we'll run the ore up here. Okay, now we got it going on both sides. We'll set up the inserters. Same way. And power for the inserters. Okay, that's connected. Let's grab our coal out of here. Oh, got to refill our coal for the copper one more time. We're not doing copper yet, so keep on going. Copper. Okay, now we have a full half yellow belt of iron smelting going, so that's good. Let's uh, grab some iron. Grab it out of here, too. And those are all smelting, so that's good. And let's see, let's continue setting stuff aside for the science. Um, but first, we're gonna need some steel. So let's just, let's just queue up a little bit of steel over here that we can use for engines and rails and locomotives and stuff. Um, that ought to give us enough for what we need. Uh, let's see, 
There's our 400 gears. That's 200 of the belts. And let's see, we'll continue making our green circuits. And let's see, now we can start making the inserters for the green science. Okay, uh, let's see, we have to divide up these green circuits somehow. All right, uh, put half a stack, put half stacks. Take the rest of this. Wait, did I do something wrong here? Let me see. No, that's all looking okay. Okay. Okay, half a stack, half a stack, and fine. That'll work. I'll make all the first batch of inserters. Make some more green circuits. More copper wires. We still have copper, so more copper wires. There's our other 200 belts. So there's our 400 belts. So that's good. Once we get our first batch of inserters, we can kick things off. So that's looking good. Okay, let's go gather resources. More iron. More iron. Okay. Uh, now the these belts are gonna be for our use. Now we're gonna get some more miners, that way we can get some on copper. All right, there's our first 200 inserters, so that's good. Okay, so let's see. We'll put 50 in each of the green. Okay, we need then 200 belts, so that's half a stack in each. Okay, that's all green science going. Let's get our copper. Uh, 50 over here, 50 in each, and then 50 gears in each. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's 200 red and green science going, so that's good stuff. Okay, um, let's see. Now we are going to need some more labs. We're going to need four more labs. So that will be 16 belts if we limit things that way. Um, gonna need more green circuits. And okay, that should make four labs. That'll speed up our throughput because our assembly machines are making more than the four labs can actually process at this point. Uh, we'll continue with copper wires. Continue collecting gears. All right, um, we need more gears for the next batch of inserters. Let's get some more. Whoops, we're out of coal down here. Uh, we have a little bit of coal. Okay, let's just fill in as much as we can down there. All right, let's, where are we at? Okay, more gears. Our, okay, there's our four labs. Okay, let's go set those up. This will help us get through the research faster. Oh, help if we're actually putting the green science in the lab. Okay, four more labs with inserters and power. Okay, that is good stuff. Okay, we still got the 200 belts in here. There's 200 gears, 200 copper. All right, so we just need 200 more inserters to round up what we need for the science for getting on track like a pro. So let's see, let's uh, let's arrange this stuff here. Let's get our stuff together. More iron, I guess, so we can continue crafting the green circuits. Okay, that gives us some green circuits. All right, do we have enough? We kind of need 200 to make the 200 inserters we're looking for. All right, we need more copper. So, which we need to get this going. So we'll grab some more coal, fill this up again. All right, that's copper. Okay. 
collect the gears and the circuits. Okay, we've got more than 200 circuits. So that means we can put those in here and we can just use the 200 here. Okay, we need 50 in each. So let's see, how are we gonna do this? Um, all right, first set these to inserters. Then we're gonna do half stacks, half stacks of iron, half stacks of gears. Um, wait, uh, wait a minute. I should have 100 left here. Uh, something didn't work right. What did I miss? Uh, oh, I didn't put enough. Oh, I put a half stack when I meant to put the rest of it in here. Okay, so let's just add the 25 that are missing here. Okay, and then we should be able to put half and then the rest. Okay, all right, and good. That should make the rest of the inserters we need for science. Steel is done, so we have the steel we need. That's good. Uh, and we have enough pipes for the engines we'll need. We'll need 20 engines for the locomotive, so that means we need 40 pipes. We have more than 40 pipes, so that's okay. More assembly machines, because yes, we need assembly machines. And, oh, we never put our radar down over here, so let's do that. Uh, let's pick, take a peep at the map. Okay, I haven't found anything yet, although pollution cloud is off the edge of the map, so hopefully there's not surprises waiting for us. Okay, more assembly machines, that looks good. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and start making more inserters for ourselves. Maybe we can get some copper smelting going. Here's our last 200 inserters for green science, which we'll stick up here in the box. Okay, we're going to, quote, pause the video here through the magic of video editing. Since we're at a reasonable milestone and we are pretty close to the episode length I was looking for. So... We're going to stop there. We have now assembled all of the ingredients we need to finish all of the science that is required for getting on track like a pro. So we'll see if we can actually chew through those ingredients and stand up the train before the deadline. We've got about half an hour left to go. But as we like to say, we'll leave that as a problem for future Mystic Fish. So in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, bye.